Let's analyze the given graph and then write about this linear relation. The question is, use the title and excess labels of the graph to write what y-intercept and slope means. Now if you study the graph, then we are given here depreciation of a machine. And along the x-axis, we have written time in years since machine is purchased. So it's written time in years since machine is purchased. And on the y-axis, we are given present value in thousands of dollars. For example, this point will be $2,000 and the point shown here will be $7,000. So this, this is what is given along both the axis and the title. Now you need to explain this and especially interpret the meaning of y-intercept here, which is this point, and the slope. Right? Now, from a graph, y-intercept is the value when along the x-axis you have zero. That means in this case, time in years since machine is purchased, that means new machine. So y-intercepts represents the cost of brand new machine, right? So that is what it represents. So it says that dollar seven thousand is, you can say, cost or value of new machine. Correct. You can see that value decreases with time and since the slope is constant it is decreasing at a constant rate. If we find this slope we will know at what rate the cost is decreasing. Correct? That is called depreciation. So that is why the title is depreciation of a machine. Now you can calculate the slope which seems to be it depreciates $7,000 within a period of seven years, right? So the slope here is y2 minus y1. The coordinates of this point are, we'll write this coordinates as 7, 0, and the coordinates of this point are 0, 7,000, because it is in dollars, thousands of dollars, right? So it is $7,000. Now y2 minus y1 means 0 minus 7,000, so it's 0 minus 7,000 divided by 7 minus 0, 7 minus 0. So that gives us minus 1,000. So it gives us minus 1,000. And the units are dollars per year, right? That's a unit of per year. So that is the depreciation rate, the value by which the machine is decreasing every year, right? So it gives you slope here gives you the rate at which the value of the machine is decreasing every year. So it is decreasing at the rate of thousand dollars per year. So the slope here gives gives you the depreciation rate. Rate at which the value of the machine is decreasing every year. So as you can see after seven years, it'll be zero. I hope you understand how now to explain the graphs. Thank you.